Hello, this is the full page form button template at SharePointDashboards.com. This button will open up a form into a full page mode. I'll explain why this might be important to you. By default, in your modern list view, when you click edit, it opens a side panel form, which has a uh, scrolling uh, panel that you can go through your fields in. In most situations, that's fine. But there are some situations where you might prefer a full page form, which is the way that SharePoint used to work in what's now known as classic pages. If I wanted to print from this, it's not going to work. Um, it's showing me uh, the output in a manner that's not suitable for printing. That's where the full page form could be handy to me. In order to set this up, it's really easy. So you need to go to this full page form template and we need to just provide a little bit of information. Now we can set it up to either open in the edit form or the display form. For my example, I'm just going to go ahead and use the display form. We do need to provide the name of the list. So just hop over to SharePoint. Uh, you can either copy it from your URL. In my case, my list is called projects, or you can just type it in. So I just provide my list name, which is projects. And then also we do need to provide a redirect URL. And this is simply the page that we will return to whenever we're done looking at the form or editing that form. You can just simply copy and paste the URL of your list, or you can redirect it to another SharePoint page. That's entirely up to you. So just paste that in here like so, and then uh, we should pretty much be set to go. Of course, as with the other templates, I can adjust the colors, I can adjust the font, um, I can set up the look and feel to work however I want. So I'll go ahead and change the background color. I'm gonna make that green, and then for the hover, uh, let's just go ahead and make it a light green and that's all that I'm going to do for this and of course I can see my preview that shows me uh, what this gonna, is going to look like when I paste it out to my site. Go ahead and click on copy template. We're going to follow the directions in the box and then you need to have a column set up to apply your template and I've got that already set up. I just called mine FP form as in full page form and I just go to the column header column settings, format this column, advanced mode, select all and paste, then save. Okay, there's my buttons. And now you'll see when I click on this, it's gonna go to the full page form, which is in a classic page in SharePoint. If you recall, I was wanting to print earlier and I was not getting something that I could use. Now, if I print in the browser, you'll see that all of my content from my form is displayed normally, and I could print this out and use this information. And then when I close the form, that redirect is gonna be used. So if I hit close, it'll return me back to my list view, which is the URL I used for the redirect. I can, of course, also alternatively have it go directly to the edit form. I may like this edit form in certain situations better than that side panel edit form. So just change your mode to edit. Uh, naturally, you wanna change your text. So if I'm gonna use the edit form, uh, make sure you put edit for the button text or something similar. And once again, I'll copy the template, come back over to my list and do the same steps. Format this column, and then I'll go back to my code editor, just paste in and save. And now instead of the display form, I'm going to the edit form. Okay, so same view, but I'm in edit mode. So I can make updates and this removes the clutter. This is a cleaner view and in a form that has a lot of fields, you may uh, have a better user experience by using this form. So the user can make those edits and it will return them back into the modern view when they're done. So that's pretty much it. Uh, this template is available at SharePointDashboards.com. This is part of the subscription. If you have not used this tool before, you can sign up for free to gain access to 21 templates. And then if you get good use out of those, you can go on 
to use the subscription, which provides access to hundreds of template options. Good luck.